A Lexington bakery is serving up sweet treats and it opened during the pandemic. Daniel King is the owner of the Futile Bakery on Waller Avenue and he joins me now. And Daniel, you picked an interesting time to start a business. Why did you decide that 2020 was the right time for you to open the bakery? <laughs> well, I just thought everything was so crazy right now. Um, why not make it a little crazier and why not go ahead and uh, you know, follow my passion? And what, what better time than the present? And you found a way to turn your passion into a profession. What was it like for you to take that leap when you were doing something so different before? Um, horrifying. Um, so, <laughs> no, I, uh, so I did start uh, working from home, uh, doing some cookie decorating and a very small scale baking on the side. So I, I had some idea of what I was getting into, um, but it was definitely exhilarating and a little bit terrifying to kind of go full board with the bakery for sure. And you have some of your treats there in front of you. So take us around the table. What are your favorite <laughs> items that you're serving? What do customers love? Oh my gosh. So I think early on, we got a lot of recognition for our cinnamon rolls. Uh, frankly, I think they're the best on this uh, 300 block of Waller Avenue. Um, we also uh, make scones fresh daily, and we have a lot of fans of those. Uh, we also started doing macarons, and we really started changing up our flavors. So here are pistachio rose macarons. Uh, and whenever we run out of these, we'll come up with a new flavor, and that will be what we have then. Um, so we like keeping things fresh. We like experimenting here. Um, and we've even started having uh, cupcakes in the shop as well. So chocolate cake with uh, cold brew, actually from Lucy Brown Coffee Bar um, is what is used in the buttercream frosting. It makes this delicious coffee buttercream. So, and what, what is your training? What is your background in terms of baking? Is it just something that you developed on your own? Uh, yeah, I, I really uh, don't have a lot of formal training in terms of baking and culinary art. I, I don't, uh, I didn't go to culinary school or anything like that. Um, but I did work for a number of years um, at restaurants here in Lexington and then also at, at the Beaumont Inn uh, in my hometown of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Um, so I worked there all through high school and college, uh, and even a little after. So for those of us who are the amateur bakers, what what is one tip or one piece of advice that you would give them to, you know, make, to make our treats even better? <laughs> you know, in COVID, I think everyone's kind of become an amateur baker, which I think is phenomenal. And one thing we all love to bake in Kentucky are biscuits, um, pie doughs and here at the bakery, we love to make scones. And so if you are fortunate enough to have one of these stand mixers, um, what we like to do is take our flour and our butter, and instead of rubbing it in with your hands or using a pastry blender, you just let it go in your stand mixer. It takes about 10 minutes on a very low speed, but you will get a gorgeous dough every time. And it's perfect for pie doughs, again, for biscuits, and it's how we make our scones here in the shop. All right, a great tip there. So Daniel, where can people find you and how can they follow you? <laughs> um, you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram uh, at the Futile Bakery. Um, and we post in our stories and regularly in our feed as well about our menus, um, about any sort of crazy winter hours that we've experienced this week uh, and about our new flavors of macarons and things like that. And if you wanna come and visit the shop, we uh, do curbside as well as walk-in. Uh, and we are located at 399 Waller Avenue. And the website is thefutilegourmet.com. Daniel King, Correct. thank you so much and best of luck with the business. Thank you so much, Jennifer, I really appreciate it.